Welcome back, folks. The playoffs are here in Nebraska, and you know what? We've got plenty of highlights for you, so what are we waiting for? Let's get right into these games. We'll start off in Why Not, where the Blue Devils are hosting Silver Lake. First play from scrimmage. Mustangs go with a reverse. Actually, wait a second. Tate Mackey sets up to pass, fires, and Dylan Heine picks this one off while going down. It's Why Not Ball. Heine, the quarterback for the squad as well. He calls his own number, finds the hole, hits it, and the senior is off to the races now. Into the end zone he goes. Blue Devils up 7-0. Silver Lake looking to punt later on, but the snap is wild, and it's a wild goose chase for the ball now. Cottoner Cook falls on it for the score. Why not cruises to a 42-0 victory and advances to the next round. Now into Bloomfield we go for a battle between the Bees and the Howells Dodge Jaguars. Bees down going into the third, and the Jags defense looks to bring down Braden Good the first slack. There is a sack, but he slips away now, and he's off and running. He gets the edge, picks up a massive first down for Bloomfield right there. Jags on offense now. This time, a little trickery. Halfback pass, and the quarterback, Landon Dobbins, catches it, races the B defender to the pylon, and the Jaguars go up 22-6. to six. Now, on a real halfback toss, Hunter Luther goes right at the teeth of the defense, and he is gone. Jags rolling up 28-6. to six. Bees trying to find any answer. They can't find it. Jags go on to win 34-6. to six. Down into Elgin we go for some more D2 playoff action. Special teams, big part of this one early. Lawrence Nelson comes up with a huge punt block. Rocky Miller falls on top of it. But the Wolfpack would get the ball back. This time, Carson Kaloff pumps, chucks one up under duress, and Dylan Luking pulls in the one-handed snag near the sideline. Same possession. A little fullback dive action. Taylor Beckman breaks free and proceeds to outrace all the defenders into the end zone. Elgin takes a 6-0 lead. And tell you what, though, the Raiders would end up taking this one 24-14. The one seed in D1 action, Stan hosting the Mead Raiders. To get things started in this one, Bear Wilkie fires a long ball to Mitchell Hupp, who brings it in for the early score, that, or the easy score. That makes it 38-6 to six in the second. Mustangs down by the goal line. This is far from flashy, but hey, still worth six points. Parker Weedman crosses the plane with ease there. It's 45-6. to six. Mustangs, Wilkie under center. Fakes the sweep, pumps once, sets his feet, launches deep to, you guessed it, Mitchell Hupp for another score. Mustangs go on to win this one, 78-6. to six. The Gators of Wisner Pilger taking on undefeated Cross County in the playoffs. WP driving early. Walker Ott looks down, feels and tosses to Logan Nelson in the end zone. Gators, they start the scoring in this one, but the Cougars respond. They get it to their Illinois tight end commit, Tanner Hollinger. That ties the game up, but Cross County ends up running away with this one. They would win 52 to 22. Regular season action in Nebraska to Battle Creek dueling Grand Island Central Catholic, and the road team didn't waste time. Their first possession, Trent Euler takes the handoff, leaps over a defender, gets a big run, but eventually he'll be dragged down. A few plays later, though, Braves turn to the Wildcat, and it's Euler once again taking the direct snap, and he's running right into your living room. Battle Creek, they shoot out to the early 7-0 lead. This will be a battle, but the Braves end up winning it 38-33.